Hello, I am Dr. Derek Malachik, adjunct faculty in Low Brass at Iowa Western Community College. Today, I will be demonstrating the second of the two etudes for euphonium slash baritone bass clef. These are also the same etudes that you would apply for treble clef as well. This etude was previously known as an odd year etude and a recording may be found on the CD entitled The Ballinger Etudes, The Odd Years, track number 25. This particular etude is an up-tempo etude. It has a lot of dramatic dy dynamic changes and pay attention to the articulations. The articulations, particularly in bars, in the, in the first several bars, alternate between staccato markings and tenuto markings. When you see a tenuto marking, do not treat it as an accent, treat it as a longer note. I should also point out too that with the slurred 16th passage that you see on the beginning of each, um, to not compress the notes. One thing that euphonium players have a tendency to do, especially young euphonium players, is just to compress the notes into one single passage. In order to make it a lot stronger, you need to have a full stream of air. Let me show the first two bars. In bars 8 through 12, through, pardon me, 14, the character changes a little bit to where it is, where dynamics and accents are brought out. And there is a tremendous con contrast between bars 9 and 10 and 11 and 12, not just in the uh, character, but also the dynamics. This concludes the lesson over A2 number two for euphonium. I wish you the best of luck on your audition and have a wonderful day.